Hey, welcome everyone to the super fast After Effects video. I've been working on this project and I figured it was something that you guys might find handy too. Basically what I'm doing is I'm taking an object and linking that object's rotation to the position of a different object. In this example, I have a car and I have the two wheels. But before we get into it, hit them with the intro. Welcome back. So let's take a look at what I'm talking about. Here we have a city scene. And if I rewind all the way, we see that I have the city being built on. And then we have these cars and this truck going by. Let's zoom in to see what we're talking about on this car. A really helpful shortcut in After Effects. You see the tilde key which is the top left. If you tap that, that panel gets bigger. So now we're able to take a look. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit more, right about there. If I hit the space bar, you see how the wheels slow down and then eventually stop. There we go. And then it picks up speed. Let's watch it one more time. The truck goes by, those wheels pick up speed and they're off and running. Okay, hit the tilde key again and we're gonna go from scratch. So I'm gonna grab my car, drop it in. Now I'm gonna grab the wheel and drop that on top of the car and we need to find it, there it is. So I'm gonna put that in place and then I'm gonna zoom in, make sure that that's where it needs to be. And we'll add the second wheel later, but let's just go ahead and do everything to the first wheel and then we'll duplicate it. All right, so I'm gonna click on the car, hit the P, because we need to link the rotation of this wheel to the position of the car. So now that we have the wheel in place, what I'm gonna do is click the parent and click on car. Or there's another way of doing that. If we undo, I'm gonna hit the pick whip and then just go to the car. So now we see that's basically doing the same exact thing, right? So here I'm gonna hit R for rotation. I'm going to Alt and click on that stopwatch right next to rotation. And here we see that there's an expression that's basically explaining what's happening. So now we have the wheels position not only attached to the car, so wherever we move the car, the wheel is gonna follow, but now we also have the rotation dependent on the position of the car, right? So if I grab the X position and I drag this back and forth, we see that the wheel is rotating according to where the car is. But sometimes the wheel spins a little slower or a little faster than we need. If we need to slow the wheel down, what we're gonna do is go down to this expression and hit divide by say two, just to see what happens. And if we drag the X position of the car, we see that that wheel has slowed down quite a bit. In reverse, if we wanted to multiply it, so the slash is divide and the asterisk is multiply. So if we change this to multiply, we come over here and we drag the X. Now we see that that wheel is really moving. But we don't need any of those. We're gonna hit delete twice. And now if we move the X, now that looks about right. So now we're able to click on the stopwatch to add a keyframe. And then we move the playhead and click this little diamond all the way on the left to add another keyframe. And if we move that car over, we see that that car starts to move and the wheel is rotating. Let's turn that truck. Let's hide that truck so we can see. Okay, so then there we go. And it's rotating. Now all I have to do is grab that wheel, duplicate it, and move that one over to the front. And now if we take a look, now both wheels are rotating. So there you go. 
We're taking an object and we're linking it to the position of another object and we're changing the rotation of that object dependent on the position of the other object. I hope that makes sense. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you know anyone that's into animation or motion graphics, send this video on over to them. And if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. We're here every week with new tutorials and new videos and all kinds of fun stuff. All right, everyone. See you in the next one. Take care.